hear all the time from people. Um, I, I hope you're not going to do any of that hypnosis stuff with me and they, they worry about what hypnosis is. And this is a, a, a problem, if you like, that has been because of myths that have been created by lots of television hypnotists and lots of misinformation, where people think that hypnosis is something scary where I'm going to have, or whoever the, hypnot the, the hypnotist is, is going to have control over their mind, and that's just not true. Actually, hypnosis is a very natural state of mind. And what happens is, is that we don't realise just how often we're hypnotised. One of the, the biggest forms of hypnosis that everybody experiences, or most people experience I would say on a day-to-day -day basis is their television. If you have ever watched a television programme or ever been to see a movie and it's passed by like that and it's just gone and all of a sudden you think my god was that two and a half hours and it felt like 20 minutes, that's hypnosis. And hypnosis is just a very very natural relaxed state of mind and the reason that we use it is because that it can access this deep unconscious process that goes on inside us and inside our minds. Our emotions and all our problems are very rarely logical. If they were, we'd be able to say, stop being depressed, and all of a sudden, we'd stop being depressed. And that would be it, and it would be finished. But that's, it's not as easy as that. What happens is we wish we could not be scared of spiders, or wish we could drive the car on the motorway, or whatever the, the particular issue is. But we can't, because actually it's down here. It's almost held unconsciously in our deeper programming. And what hypnosis allows us to do is access that deeper programming. But just to debunk a couple of the myths. Number one, I have no control over your mind if you are in hypnosis. You are in complete control. In fact, one of the things I hear a lot of people say is they've been for hypnotherapy before and they'll come and they'll see me and they'll say, yeah, I went for hypnotherapy before, but there was no way I wasn't under. And people seem to think that to be hypnotised you have to be kind of drooling on yourself and dribbling all over the place and feeling this kind of altered state of mind that's almost like some sort of bizarre sacred experience and it's not like that at all actually it feels normally like closing your eyes and listening to somebody speak. It's in the skill of what we see that we start to create the change. In fact quite often during hypnosis we'll have conversations where you'll be exactly aware of what's going on and it's almost like having a waking dream. If you've ever been for a yoga class, if you've ever been to anywhere where you've done a guided visualisation, that's hypnosis. Anytime you relax and you close your eyes and you imagine inside your head, that's hypnosis. And it is as easy as that and we can create massive change through it. It definitely is not something I would say to be scared of, it's something to enjoy and to practice. And a lot of people nowadays are even doing mindfulness. And there's all these apps you can get for your phone where you do mindfulness apps and mindfulness meditations. That's all hypnosis. So if you enjoy that type of thing, if you enjoy closing your eyes and relaxing, I promise you you'll enjoy hypnosis. You'll know exactly where you are. And we can create massive changes in your life if you just open your mind to that.